because my daughter was diagnosed with autism um, when she was four, but I always had this gut feeling that something else was going on. We were doing the best things that we could do for her. We got her in the best schools, and still she had, um, you know, she would learn a skill and then it would disappear. And she, well, she was learning another one. Um, she had low muscle tone. Um, she, at seven, had a global regression, and she lost her ability to speak. She lost all, you know, basically all of her skills, and nobody could tell us. The schools couldn't tell us what was going on. The doctors didn't know, um, and it wasn't until um, she was 22 that um, we actually put the family in an RV, and we drove to um, Cleveland Clinic to a doctor who we knew from the Boston area who had moved out there, and... Um, he, he diagnosed her. Um, so what I would say to people um, who are diagnosed with autism, much like you know my daughter was, if you trust your gut, you know if something doesn't seem right, if your child has that low muscle tone, if your child is losing skills, if there's a regression, um, you know developing seizures, think about Phelan McDermott syndrome. You know, think about that, talk with your doctor about it, come to our website, pmsf.org, um, and there's a lot of information on there about the disorder, about, um, you know, the clinical care um, parameters, about diagnosing. Um, so if you have that feeling, you know, you have a, a gut either with autism or, you know, an atypical, you know, another disorder that's related to autism, um, think about it and um, even um, and, and get that um, microarray or, or the genetic testing done. And you know often people ask me, um, does it make a difference? Because my daughter was 22 and um, people said she's still the same. Does it make a difference to have a, a diagnosis? And I say emphatically yes, because she had, um, once I learned about Phelan McDermott syndrome, I realized that there were medical things that I was were not addressing in her. So what was coming out as a behavior really was a, a physical discomfort. So, for instance, she was you know she had aspirations, she had um, GI issues that I you know didn't know to look for. Um, so I would say those things. I would say make sure you know when you're you're talking about um, um, or, or thinking about your child um, and their behaviors. And they're, you know, how they're performing in school. And, you know, if you just have that gnawing gut, I would, I would ask your doctor. And if you need information um, to take to your doctor, because a lot of times they don't know, um, we have some great resources on the website, and you can print them out and, and take them and share them with your medical professionals.